Chris from Fulton Tactical here again. Today we're going to look at something new. I think you guys are going to like it. Today we're going to take a look at the Bolton Technical Portable Signal Unit. And we're going to get this thing uh, put up on the table and we're going to discuss a little bit. But you're going to be really excited about what this thing does and how it looks. Total signal unit and also cellular service and router all inside of a box. So I'm going to set it up on the table now and we're going to get a good look at it. See what you guys think at it. So let's get her done. All right, hey guys, this is Andrew and Chris here from Bolton Technical. And today we're going to be demoing our portable signal unit to you guys. So this is a, uh, a unit that we designed um, specifically for guys who are in remote locations, who are on temporary job sites, uh, emergency response guys who need a temporary set up to ensure that their comms are, are set up. Um, we've got a WeBoost signal booster in here and we've got a Bolton Technical CAT6 router in as well. So the purpose of this is um, you're typically going to put it inside a establishment probably no more than about 1500 square foot. Uh, we are going to position an outside Yagi antenna that's going to uh, pick up signal from our nearest cell tower. We're going to run that cable in here to a booster that they're going to project the signal inside the building and our LT router is going to pick up from there and give you guys um, you know, pretty fast internet um, so you can connect uh, your laptops, connect your phones, you can upload, download images and um, yeah, basically fully functional. So. Chris is going to open up the box for you and we're going to show you what we got inside. Okay guys, let's take a look inside here. Uh, really exciting stuff inside here, like Andrew said. Um, let's go ahead and start talking and we'll go from the top down. First thing you're going to see is you're going to see a panel antenna inside here. This is going to be broadcasting the signal from the WeBoost 60 uh, dB. Um, so you can actually pick up the signal inside here. On the back side of it, we actually placed a metal plate inside here, so when you actually position your antennas and turn this around, you won't get that oscillation happening inside the system. Okay, again, here is the Wilson Wee Boost that we discussed already, which is 1,500 square feet, very powerful, and uh, we really like this one. The other thing that you mentioned is the Bolton Blazer. This is a Cat6 LTE router with dual SIMs, so you can actually put two different SIM types in here, AT&T, T-Mobile, or Verizon, uh, your choice, and it is actually a 2.4 gigahertz and a 5 gigahertz router. Um, the antenna is actually to split up here, and this is where the signal is actually going to broadcast down to your router. The next thing we have is we have an internal plug on here where you can actually plug this system in too. But the most exciting thing about this is, is it runs on battery power. And when I show you the batteries, you're going to love it. This here is actually the unit over here that actually powers it up. Your switch on, switch off, a battery level, which will let you know when the batteries are going down, along with plugs in here where you can actually plug your laptops, your phones in, and everything else. So let's go ahead and let's flip this lid up, and we're going to take a look at what's underneath. First thing you're going to see under here is the actual power unit that you can plug the system into that comes over to the power plug. Right here is the battery clip. As you can see, this is a lithium battery. This is basically something that will go on a drill and this thing will run for nine hours and we give you two of them so it'll do 18 hours. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is, is to clip in. Basically, you put it in here, you're good to go. Things are starting up. The next thing you're gonna find is an additional battery that'll give you 18 hours of lifetime. We have a quick disconnect, which goes on our Yagi antenna that we're going to set up outside, and I'm going to show you how this works. Our Bolton Technical Yagi antenna that we're going to set up outside and point towards the tower. We have our tripod, which fits inside the case, that actually has the quick disconnect. And we have 50 foot of LMR 400 cable inside here to make sure we got that distance between the two antennas so we don't get oscillation and very powerful. So what we're going to do next is Andrew and I are going to get this thing set up. 
We're gonna get it spun around, get things in position. We're gonna fire it up and we're gonna see what this thing will do. You guys are gonna like it. So here, here we are guys, we got our tripod set up and I told you that we had a quick disconnect. This thing's a beautiful little thing that we designed here so we can set this thing up so easy that you don't have to mess around with brackets or anything. So we actually mounted this quick disconnect on this bracket here on the Yagi. And basically all you have to do is put this thing up here and screw it in. And look at there. There's our antenna guys. Set up 100% quick, easy, painless. So here we go, we got our Yagi set up, we got our tripod set up, so we got our LMR 400 out here uh, with our reel. And I'm gonna show you that this is a beautiful thing here because uh, you're not gonna have to unravel cable and it's not gonna unspool, it's not gonna kink. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and connect this up here. And then I'm gonna have Andrew help me and I'm gonna show you how easy this is to unreel your cable out and in on this guy. So as soon as he holds that, or you wanna take it? Yep. Go ahead and take that. And basically all you have to do is just let it unreal like this, guys. Once we get done with this and we get it unraveled on the reel, we're gonna pop this out. And this is gonna screw right into our Wee Boost for Home right here. And once we get this in here, now we're ready to turn this thing on, spin it around, and get it fired up. So let's go ahead and get it in position and we'll be right back. All right, so I wanted to show you some signal readings. This is an iPhone 11. I am on the T-Mobile network here in Round Top, Texas. So inside this metal building, about a thousand square foot, <clears throat> I've got about one bar, either no bars or one bar of coverage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna power on the PSU, uh, which make sure that the battery is Insert it properly. Uh, this is our on off switch. Green lights on the booster show that the unit is firing and boom, automatically I've jumped straight to full full bars, full bars, full coverage on the uh, on my iPhone. You guys saw that live in action. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn off my cellular connection and I'm gonna connect to the Wi-Fi, which is the Bolton router and that's a 2.4 and 5 gigahertz uh, CAT6 LTE router so there's going to be two options to connect to and I'm going to connect to one of them we're going to check our upload and download speed on it. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to the, uh, the 5G network for now as you can see and right now I'm going to go ahead and run a speed test on the 5G connection. Boom. So you're sitting at about let's see what finishes it up. Almost almost fifteen on the download. And and 12, 12 megabits per second on the upload. So if you're out in this barn on a temporary job site, you're fully able to uh, connect your phone, your laptop um, to the Wi-Fi. You can upload files, you can download files, you can join Zoom calls, you can load videos, you can send emails, you can connect via Teams or Skype or whatever it is. And um, you know, this is a portable signal, signal unit. We've, we've fully covered. Um, We've got cellular and Wi-Fi in this uh, location. This is a building where there was an absolute dead zone inside with literally no signal whatsoever inside here. So, thanks guys.